The roadway of this new elevated bridge is made out of individual concrete segments, and crews are now more than 80% done installing them over Gandhi Boulevard. We have roughly just over 600 segments hanging in the air out of the 744 needed to uh, complete the project. Those specifically made segments sit on top of 55 piers and caps spanning nearly two miles. That part of the Selman extension construction should be wrapped up by the end of the year, but it will still be some time before drivers can use the bridge. After um, the segments are installed and the railway is complete, we still have a ton of work uh, to finish up. Crews have already started on the west end installing drainage, wiring electrical, painting and laying pavers. Lots of little jobs that need to get done. We're also doing landscaping and aesthetic lighting on top of the bridge. The extension was designed to look good with a blue and white color scheme, lighting that can change color above and below the elevated roadway, and decorative fins perched in the median. Those 27 concrete encasements actually serve a bigger purpose, helping to support the bridge. The Selman extension towers 30 feet over Gandhi Boulevard, another design element done intentionally. It doesn't um, disconnect the neighborhoods, disconnect the businesses, so you can, when you're driving, you can see from one side to the other. Officials expect this elevated bridge to see a lot of traffic, but drivers still have to wait a bit. The Selman extension is set to be complete next summer. Reporting in Tampa, Katherine Hawley, Fox 13 News.